Good morning. May 7th and late last night I submitted my last college final which is crazy and that means in the most anticlimactic way possible I'm officially done with school and today is my first day of summer so I figured it might be fun to document it for you guys and just take you through what the first day of summer looks like for me in quarantine so make sure to subscribe if you guys have yet to do so I just finished my breakfast so let's head inside and get ready for the day one of the new additions to my daily quarantine routine happens to be these metal straws. I've been drinking this coffee almost every single day without a straw, and it's not good for my teeth. I'm well aware of that, so I got these metal straws off of Amazon. It came in a pretty big pack. I wish they were a little bit smaller, but what can you do? It came with quite a few of them and a cleaner, so if you guys have been looking for good metal straws, I'll have those linked down below for you guys. But now it's 10 o'clock. I definitely got an early start to the day. And the reason for that is this is the first day where I don't have to worry about anything school related. And because of that, I want to make it a very big content day. I want to try and film, I guess, technically three videos because right now I'm filming this one. Obviously, you're watching it. I definitely want to film a haul because I've been doing probably a little bit too much shopping and I figure I can just make a video out of it. And then tonight I really wanna film a Q and A because I asked you guys for some questions. I asked you not to hold back and on Instagram you totally delivered. So I figured we could sit down maybe with a glass of wine and I could answer some more juicy questions. That's always fun. So I'm gonna start getting ready for the day right now. I wanna make sure that my makeup can last me, especially into the night um, if I decide to film that video. And yeah, let's just do it. And of course, naturally, I'm gonna be watching How I Met Your Mother. Oh. oh, I love this show so much, so much. I'm on the ninth episode of the last season, so I'm definitely gonna end up finishing it soon, but I don't wanna finish it today because I wanna make sure it's a day that I can just sit in bed and cry. And we're gonna make it a good day, ladies and gents, a good day. And we're done. So I finished my makeup and then added some curls into my hair. And now I just finished laying out everything that I'm gonna include in the haul video. I'm actually really excited about this. I feel like you guys are gonna really love a lot of the pieces that I have to show you. And now I need to set up my ring light. Or not, this is not a ring light. My softbox is waiting. Not even an hour later and I'm already done with filming. I don't know how it took me so much faster than it normally does, but I already did the talking portion and the try on portion. So if you guys wanna go check out that video and it's up before this one is, I'll have it linked in a card right up here. But it's not even one o'clock now and I just checked the UV and it's a UV of eight, which is crazy. I don't wanna go and actually tan because that's too much of a commitment and it's only 61 degrees outside. So I'm just gonna go and sit out there and see if I can get some color on my face and my chest. I'm also purposely wearing sweatpants because my legs get tanned so fast and I do not need that happening this early on in the summer. What's up guys, welcome back to Views, the podcast where Jason's been working out more. Yep, I'm loving my new body, my same body. And another one on top. I just sat out here for like a half hour and now the sun is going behind some clouds. So I think that's my cue to go back inside. It's also like 1.30, so I figure it's time to make myself some lunch. And I probably will end up coming back out here in a little bit because it's just such a nice day outside. So I'm back outside now in the same spot that I started my day at and now I'm eating my lunch. And I figured I would take this time as I eat to talk to you guys about my current status as a student. Um, so like I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I finished up my senior year of college last night, technically. Um, definitely the most anticlimactic way to finish school. I'm not happy about it. I know no one is, but um, I feel bad even complaining because I realize how fortunate I am to be in the situation that I am. Um, and I know people have it so much worse, so I would never want to be insensitive. But I, it doesn't mean that it doesn't suck. I am incredibly disappointed with how my senior year ended, and I really would do any in my power to have it not be this way but there's nothing I can do so 
um, when I was leaving Baltimore, and I feel like this lighting is awful, I'm sorry. Um, when I was leaving Baltimore initially, I was hopeful that it would only be about two weeks, so I didn't move out of my apartment in full. So all of my stuff is still in Baltimore, and it gets really complicated because my lease ends at the end of the month um, with how I'm gonna be moving out, and obviously you guys know I can't drive, so it really does depend on my parents. So because of that, and the fact that it needs to be a one day trip down to Baltimore because no one wants to stay in a hotel right now I'm going to be going down about a week early getting everything situated doing anything I need to do to wrap up my semester and then my parents will be meeting me down in Baltimore and helping me move out so that is the general idea of what's gonna be happening. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions regarding social distancing, who I'll be seeing, whatever. I will be seeing my roommates when I go down to Baltimore. Unfortunately, with my apartment, there is no way to stagger who moves out when, especially because both me and my roommate Madeline are out of state, so it really does require a lot of planning and a lot more of a time commitment. So I will be seeing them, and this will be our way of, in a much, much lesser scale, ringing out our senior year. We will not be seeing anyone else other than each other that is that there really is no other alternative I need to get my stuff eventually but I did want to explain to you guys what's happening because I would love to be able to vlog um, while I'm down there just to make more memories with my friends and I know you guys really enjoy my school vlogs so if you guys have any other questions leave them down below but that's pretty much my situation and there's nothing I can really do about it and with that being said I'm gonna finish my food. Cheers. My third and hopefully final change of the day has happened because I'm gonna go for a walk. It is such a beautiful day outside and I've already done everything I need to do inside, like film another video. So I figured why not just go and get some more fresh air. I did change my outfit again. Sometimes I think I change my outfit more in quarantine than I did before, but it's fine. I'm wearing this plain black sweatshirt, my biker shorts from Aritzia, and then I'm wearing Air Force Ones and some Nike socks. That's about it. Let's go for a walk. Alexa, start a timer for 25 minutes. 3,000 steps and a platter of brownies later. I'm here to give you guys an update. My walk was so nice. I'm so happy I ended up going. Honestly, I wasn't even out for that long. I'm pretty sure I only got a half hour into the podcast episode I was listening to, but it felt really nice to just be on my feet and be moving, especially because I checked the weather and tomorrow's gonna be 55 degrees and raining all day. I really am happy that I took advantage of all of this. And right when I got back, I went into my kitchen and I made some brownies, just, things that I'm doing to occupy my time. I mean, I it's so funny because this morning I woke up really early because I just had so much to do and I was like, okay, well, I have to get up early to get everything done, but everything ended up going faster than it normally does. So I was left with so much extra time and now I'm just bored. Like, I, I feel like I got done all of the things that I needed to get done. Like. Honestly, five hours earlier than I thought I was going to, which is kind of crazy. So now maybe I'll just sit in bed and watch a few episodes of How I Met Your Mother. I was gonna film that Q&A today, but honestly, I'm not really in the mood. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think I've kind of burnt myself out a little bit with filming today, and I wanna be able to be in the right headspace for that kind of video, and it might just give me something else to look forward to tomorrow. So we will push that off, no big deal. I still got a few videos filmed today, which is good, and now, actually, instead of How I Met Your Mother, let's watch and catch up on some YouTube, shall we? If you guys are looking for new YouTubers to watch, I'll give you a short list of the people that I've been loving recently. First of which is Molly Bailey. I watch all of her videos, never miss one, and I just love her content. Um, Claudia Saluski, not only her videos, but also her new podcast, We Bought a House. I binge listened to all seven of the episodes uh, yesterday or two days ago, and they release new episodes every Monday. So I'm so beyond excited for that. I love their podcast and I love her videos. Her editing is just unmatched. Who else, who else? Brooke Michio, of course, I talk about her in a lot of videos, but I love her content. Her vlogs are always super long and they're also just very authentic. So 
good content there too. And lastly, Tara Michelle, in particular her vlog channel, but I also love her main channel as well. I've been watching her since like 2016, somewhere around there. I never miss a video and I follow pretty much every aspect of her life. So those are just some people that I've been loving recently. Comment down below what YouTubers you guys have been watching and we can trade some recommendations. I finished up eating some dinner with the family and then I came upstairs and washed off all my makeup and now I am back in bed for the night this time. I definitely think I'm gonna watch a movie because it's really not that late at all and I don't really feel like watching How I Met Your Mother simply because I'm nervous that I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna start crying. So we're gonna pop on a movie. I actually made a list of movies that I wanted to watch during quarantine. I don't know, I've definitely said this in a video before, not that it's like super important, but I've never really been much of a movie person. I, more often than not, when people talk about movies that they love, I've never seen them. And it's mainly because I don't like going to the movie theater. Like that's the one thing that usually stops me and I'm more of a TV series kind of gal but throughout this entire quarantine I've been looking for things to pass time and I asked you guys on Instagram for a whole list of movies and you guys were so helpful and I've been slowly but surely getting through them I saw Wolf of Wall Street for the first time the other day and it was so good not a hot take at all but it was really really good and I have a whole list so if you guys sorry I'm getting my computer charger um if you guys want me to share that list with you I'd be happy to either in the description of this video or in another video. Maybe you guys are like me. Why do I keep on dropping my charger? Um, maybe you guys are like me like that and you are looking for new movies to watch. If you are, we can share recommendations down below. That would be fun. This definitely wasn't the ideal first day post-college, first day of summer, but I think I made the most of it. And I'm happy that I did. And I think I had a pretty good day. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you watched the end, comment something good, comment some good news, and I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.